Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi, my name is Valentina, I'm a makeup lover and related to these makeup products and in today's video I'm going to test a new blush and something new for my lips and uh, I have these two, this new Rare Beauty Powder Blush and this new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Big Lip Plum Gasm and I'm going to create this simple makeup look for uh, spring so if you like what you see and want to find out more then keep on watching for my foundation today I want to use again this one by uh, House Labs by Lady Gaga I've used it for the first time in my last video and uh, I want to use it again today. In my last video I did a wear test on my oily skin, so uh, if you want to see that first impression video I will link it down below. As a little update since my last video, I have to say that I love this foundation, I like the finish of it, I like the formula, has a nice natural finish and lasts all day on my skin. This has fermented arnica and helps a lot with my uh, redness on my skin and doesn't break me out, so um, I really love this foundation, it's my new favorite foundation and I want to use it again today and I get the best finish on my texture skin if I apply it with my beauty blender. One thing I have to say about this foundation, I recommend you to apply a thin layer on the skin if you want that uh, natural finish because if you apply too much, it can look cakey, so uh, I recommend you to be a little bit careful with the application. Next I'm going to apply my concealer and for today I'm going to use this Makeup Forever HD Skin Concealer. I also use this as my eyeshadow base. I like to apply this much and uh, I also like to let my concealer sit on my skin for a few minutes because I feel like in this way I get more coverage and uh, a better finish with my concealer if I let it sit uh, on my skin for a few minutes and while I let my concealer sit I like to apply something else, my cream bronzer or I do my brows. So I'll let the concealer like this and next I'm going to apply my bronzer and I'm going to use this one by Chanel. This is Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow bronzing cream and uh, I love to apply this with my beauty blender. This is my favorite cream bronzer, I love the color, this doesn't emphasize my pores, my acne or my texture, lasts all day on my oily skin and has a nice natural finish. This is expensive but you have a lot of product in here so uh, this will last you a very long time. And now I'm going to blend my concealer. I have oily skin so I apply powder every time I do my makeup and today I want to use one of my favorites. I don't have anything on my lips right now and my lips feel very dry so I'm going to apply something on my lips next. So next I'm going to test this new Charlotte Tilbury Plump Gasm. This is the new Pillow Talk Big Lip Plump Gasm. I have this in the shade Pillow Talk Fair Medium. For my skin tone I got this in the lightest shade. This is how the box looks like. And uh, this is how the packaging looks like. Very nice, cute packaging. And this smells delicious. I'm going to do a swatch on the back of my hand first because I want to show you how is the color and uh, how is the finish. I 
I want to see how my lips will look at the end of the video with this on. I want to see if this will uh, hydrate the lips, plump them and make them look bigger. That's why I'm applying this uh, first before anything else. So let's apply this on the lips. My lips feel much better now. It's not like a regular plumping glosses that uh, burn the lips. It has a minty cooling effect. This is very nice and cooling on the lips. I like it. But uh, I want to give you my final impressions at the end of the video because I'm very curious to see how my lips will look at the end of the video with this on. I want to see if my lips will look bigger, plumper and so on. So I'll leave this for now. And next I'm going to test my new blush because I have a new blush to test in today's video. And I have this one by Rare Beauty. This is the new Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush from Rare Beauty. This is an airy, silky powder blush that brings instant life to your cheeks with a fresh, radiant flush that lasts. We get 2.8 grams. This was made in Italy and has 12 months shelf life. I got this in the shade Cheer and this is how the box looks like. And this is how the shade Cheer looks like. This is very pretty. I don't have anything in my collection like this, so I'm very excited to try it. I want to put some on the back of my hand first because I want to see how is the color and how is the finish. Okay, the color is gorgeous. This is very luminous and I don't see chunky glitter in here. So uh, maybe this will not emphasize my pores, but we will see. So let's try this blush. I'm going to take a large brush. Very pretty color. I'm not going to use highlighter today because this is already very luminous and glowy. So this is with and without the blush on. I also want to use this on my eyes too, so I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to apply some with my fingers all over the eyelids. My skin looks very good from far, the color is gorgeous. But let's see how my skin looks up close with this blush on. My pores are a little bit emphasized, but uh, I think it's because I've applied a little bit too much. I wanted you to see the color better, that's why I've been a little bit heavy handed. But uh, I will not apply this much for my everyday makeup, so I feel like if I use a small amount, I'll have a very natural finish. Somehow I like this side more, I don't know why, but this side looks uh, more even and natural. On this side, uh, my pores are more emphasized. Maybe I was more heavy handed on this side. So that's everything I have to say for now. I want to give you my final impressions at the end of the video after I finish with my makeup. So I'm going to finish with my makeup off camera and uh, I'll be right back to give you my final impressions for my new makeup products. And this is the finished makeup result. For my mascara, I've used this one from Givenchy. This is the new Linteradit Mascara Couture Volume.
I really like how my lashes look with this mascara on. I use this just on my top lashes because if I use it on my bottom lashes, I'll get a little bit of transfer on my under eyes throughout the day. So I like to use this mascara just on my top lashes and the finish is very pretty. And I wanted to apply eyeliner today. So for my eyeliner, I've used this one from Sephora. This is Sephora Black Ink Classic Line Felt Liner. I never get a perfect finish with my eyeliner, so uh, this is the result for today. This is the most long-lasting eyeliner I've ever used, but uh, I don't like the applicator because this dries during the application. Now, final impressions for this new Plump Gasm from Charlotte Tilbury. Let's see how my lips look now at the end of the video. I have to be honest. I don't see a difference, but uh, I would love to know your guys' opinion, so please let me know in the comments down below if you think uh, that this did something to my lips. What I can say is that uh, my lips feel very comfortable and hydrated with uh, this on, and I love that it's not sticky, has a nice cooling effect, doesn't hurt the lips, doesn't burn the lips, so um, for now I don't know what to say, but I would love to know your opinion in the comments down below. Let me know if you see a difference on my lips. I feel like I need something more on my lips, so I'm going to use uh, this Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Pillow Talk to line my lips a little bit. Okay, much better. So if you are afraid of uh, plumping glasses that uh, burn the lips, you might want to try this one by Charlotte Tilbury because this is very comfortable and doesn't burn the lips. So uh, for now I like it, but I'll test this more and I'll update you about everything in my uh, future videos. And uh, now final impressions for my new blush, this one by Rare Beauty. I really love the color, this in you know, a cheer. I've applied a little bit too much, but the finish is pretty. Doesn't look uh, heavy or chunky on the skin. Doesn't emphasize the pores. My skin looks radiant and uh, glowy. I'll have to see how my skin will look outside in natural light. But now, in here, I really like uh, how my skin looks with this on. I feel like this will be good for traveling because with this product you'll have uh, a highlighter and a blush uh, in one product. So for now I like this, but uh, I want to test this more until my next video. I want to use it with uh, something else as a base. And I want to apply it in different ways. So I will test this more and I'll update you about everything in my next video. I would love to know from you guys if you have this blush and if you like it. And please let me know what other makeup products would you like me to test next. But that's everything for today. I hope this video is helpful and I hope you like it. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also ring the bell to be notified when I upload. I post every week. So make sure to hit the notification bell. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!